This is a custom vinyl wrap laptop skin I made for my laptop using automotive vinyl, craft vinyl, my silhouette cameo, and silhouette design studio. I'll show you how I did this, so let's go ahead and get started. So to start off with, make sure that your laptop surface is fully clean. I'm just gonna clean it with a mixture of alcohol and water. It's uh, pure alcohol diluted down to about 70%, so I added 30% uh, water, or water, so that's a 70 to 30% ratio, roughly, not exact, but clean enough that it's not pure alcohol. Gets rid of dirt, debris, oil, things like that, so that the vinyl sticks. I've got my piece already cut that's gonna be big enough. My first layer is this Vivid uh, Ultra Gloss series, uh, basically red. It's kind of like a very bright Ferrari, almost uh, fire engine red. It is in their Ultra Gloss series, has a protective cap on it. Anyway, uh, it's really, really nice vinyl as far as the finish goes. Um, it does, it looks like paint when it's on because this the finish is super smooth so see i just peeled the liner off kind of just drop it on it's automotive vinyl wrap so it's designed to be removable and repositionable and you see me picking it up and i can kind of slide it around on the surface if i need to and then once i get it where i want i can then start to tack it down a little bit using my squeegee just tacking it down tacking it down like I said, it has a plastic protective cap on it. As you can see, the edge of it here peeling off. Get rid of any air bubbles. This does have an air release patterning in the vinyl, the micro, micro channels, if you will. Very, very small pattern air release, which uh, helps reduce any kind of visibility of the air channels on the other side of the vinyl when it's applied. So basically, I'm just applying it all the way around to the very edges of the laptop, and I'm just basically finding the edges with my fingers and smoothing it down. Go over this again one more time with my squeegee to make sure that it's down really nice and across all the surface evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this plastic protective cap and you can see how smooth and shiny the actual surface of the vinyl is. All right, so now I'm gonna take just my utility knife and I'm gonna go ahead and Basically the side of the blade of my knife is gonna be against the side, the side edge of the laptop. I'm gonna do it at basically like a 45 degree angle and I'm just going to just use the tip edge of it. And I'll actually retract that just a bit so I don't have too much sticking out. And I'm just gonna follow the side edge of the laptop, uh, my blade on the side edge of the laptop. Going all the way around, take your time, go slow. That way you don't cut or scratch your laptop. Just chopping that off here. Gonna chop that off. Make sure my edge is smooth down that I cut so far. I'm just gonna turn this around so it's easier for me to cut. Make sure we're centered here, okay. Again, just side of, side of the blade against the side edge of the laptop. Just again, following the edge of the laptop, kind of holding my blade at a 45-ish degree angle relative to the laptop's edge. And just following this all the way across, all the way around, taking my time, no rushing. Okay, I'm gonna trim off just a little bit more on this corner here, just to make it a little bit more even. Careful not to scratch the edge of my laptop. There we go. All right, and so that gets the first layer down. If you want, you can emboss the symbol here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave that as is. Do take a little bit of heat. I'm just using a heat gun. Put it on low so that you don't burn the laptop uh, and add too much heat. And just go over it with some light heat, especially over the edges to make sure that your edges are sealed down. And then over the middle as well to see if you have any air bubbles that are trapped. Again, just light heat, low heat, nothing too crazy. It is electronic, so you don't want to burn it or melt anything or damage anything with excessive heat. And so that will be our base color layer. So to make the hexagonal style pattern, all I did was find a hexagon shape out on the internet. And then I traced it, as you can see here. So I had one of these and then... Uh, it was a lot of manual work, but I basically all I did was make a bunch of these by 
hitting control and then left, right or up or down. And as you can see, I'm hitting control and then pressing left and it's just replicating it to my left. And then what I did was just manually place these to about where I think they needed them to be. One trick that I did find that was helpful is at least stacking them vertically was to just grab them, stack them vertically, what I thought looked like they were about even as far as um, space goes in between. And I would highlight these. Then I would go to my alignment tool and align center. And then I could do this space vertically to even out the spaces in between. And then so you could do something similar like that and then start adding in your pieces as needed to ensure that everything is lined up and then again get it pretty close to where you think it needs to be then line them up vertically in that place in that case and then you can select them both in this case and move them around up and down if you need to you can use your arrow key on your keyboard to adjust them a little bit more um, precisely by moving them just like one little notch each versus your mouse which may drag it further than you are intending so it did take a little bit of time to do this by manually uh, doing this process here. Uh, if I found one that looked like this or just a whole bunch of them that would have been nicer to do or to have uh, and it would have saved me a lot of time but I kind of did it the hard way here unfortunately and so that's how I created this pattern here which you can see I have set up on the virtual cutting mat and then once I had it ready to go and this pattern all set up go to send and then you can see it's all highlighted here I'm just gonna make sure everything is highlighted I selected my tool, which is tool one, which is uh, the auto blade. And so I just would hit the cut function right here. As far as material, I was using Oracle 651. And then so I found that for that particular one, the presets that are built in with vinyl glossy worked fine, which has a depth of one, a force of 10 and a speed of five. Make sure that you have your action on the cut and then that you select your blade appropriately whether you're using a ratchet blade or whatever, I again am using my auto blade. And once that's all ready to go, you can go ahead and either do a test cut to make sure that these blade settings will work for the vinyl you are using. Uh, if you know that it will work, you can go ahead and hit send and send it to your Cameo. I have a Cameo 3 in this case, but send it to your Cameo for cutting. So now that my Silhouette Cameo has finished cutting my, my graphic, it's time to weed out the excess vinyl. And so what I'm going to do here is just going to pull, pull off one corner here. And it's a real easy weeding process for this one. Nothing to pick out uh, with a knife or a pick. Since I'm just leaving the hexagons, just simply pull these off here. Off the edges. Like that. I'm not too worried about these edge ones here because I know those are going to get cut off since I have made this graphic bigger than the actual laptop size itself. So I'm not necessarily too worried about that. I didn't want to cut all the way over onto the edges. So I just left those as is for now, as you can see, those parts here off of the edges are just fine. Let's get this stuff out of the middle. So now I have my hexagons ready to go. So the next step will be to put on some transfer tape so I can apply it to the laptop next. All right, so what I did just in the meantime is I put some tape underneath here because my paper was curling and so this helps lay it a little bit flatter so it doesn't curl up on me as I'm trying to apply my transfer tape, which I have here that I've already cut a piece big enough to cover the entirety of what I need. And so what I like to do for something smaller like this, I will just hold it about centered over, eyeballing everything and kind of drop the middle so it forms like a U shape. And then just make sure that U is gonna be kind of in the uh, in the middle of your graphic and that it will hit that first and then just drop down your sides just like that okay now with it down you can then take your squeegee and go ahead and make sure that it is applied to your graphic very well this is a matte vinyl i'm using oracle 651 matte black and so matte uh, has a lower sticking energy and so make sure that you apply your transfer tape on very well so that it can stick to the vinyl and peel it off of your paper when you go to transfer it onto your laptop. And so that should be good there as far as applying it onto the transfer tape. So now to apply 
this graphic onto the laptop. Like I said, I'm not necessarily going to use these last ones here because I made the graphic slightly bigger just to make sure it fits. And just basically roughly put it where I want it to be. So that looks about right, just so I know about where I want to put this. Okay, and so a little trick that I like to do is I'll actually peel back my backing paper a little bit here. Fold this here. And what I'm doing is I'm now exposing this transfer tape here. If I hold it up, I can still place this exactly where I want it to be. So here's the side edge. I'm just feeling for the side edges of my laptop R and the back edges or the bottom edges. So about there to there is where I like it, where I think I want it. Okay, now I'm going to drop my transfer tape onto my laptop. And what that does is essentially creates a hinge. All right, and so now I can fold this up, peel my paper off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up and then take my squeegee and start to apply this down. And I'm just slowly dropping my graphic onto my laptop as I apply so that I don't wrinkle anything and that it applies down nice and smoothly. Okay, and I'm just applying it with my squeegee, making sure it's down nice and firmly. And then here you can do the same thing as far as cutting off the excess, just like you had applied the vinyl initially. So just take the side of your knife against the side edge of your laptop to guide your cut. Just come around that corner, kind of do it slowly. I'm gonna start on this side now, just for ease of cutting. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that off and away. Get rid of that. And same thing here, cut this off and away. And I'm just doing this just so it's a little easier for me to cut this without making a mistake and cutting and scratching my laptop. Again, just cutting using the side edge of the blade against the side edge of the laptop to guide my cut, just like that. Okay, then make sure that it is graphic is fully applied on the hexagon shapes there. And then you can peel off your transfer tape just like this. It's really sticking to the laptop or to the uh, ultra gloss finish of the vinyl that I applied as the base color. That's how super slick and super shiny that vinyl wrap is. It is a high surface energy since it is so smooth and glossy. So I'm just being careful as I'm pulling away this transfer tape, not to pull off any of the hexagons or rip anything. Just taking my time, no rush. Taking it easy. Boom. All right, and there you go. Now you have a two color patterned laptop skin vinyl wrapped. All right, guys, so hopefully this shows how easy it is to make a really cool looking, unique laptop vinyl wrap skin using your Silhouette Cameo and automotive vinyl wrap and craft vinyl wrap in this case as well. If you did think this video was great, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification button so you get notices when I post new content to the channel. I've got more videos in the works and on the way that I'd love to share with you. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great day.